Uh, this is Belinda, and then today is June the uh -oh, 17th, I believe. No, 18th, day June 18th, 2013. Now, uh, I'm going to make a really, really quick video this morning uh, because I'm going to help my best friend and her goddaughter um, clean some uh, university apartments today uh, to make extra money. And uh, I'll probably go on almost all day and I don't have time to make this video. But then again, we may not do it today. It's just, uh, depends. I'm waiting for them to come over right now. But anyway, I digress. I'll get to the numbers. Uh, this is week 50. And I stayed exactly the same. So, I still weigh 184.6. And that, uh, for my highest weight, 332, that makes it 147.4 pounds I've lost. From the highest weight of 320, that makes it 135 pounds, 0.4 pounds I've lost. And, uh, like I said, last week, last week's weight was 184.6, and this week's weight is also 184.6. And I still have 34.6 pounds left to reach my goal of weighing 150 pounds, and will be a total loss of 180 pounds if I reach that go. I'm sorry, when I reach that go. I just have one thing I want to talk about real quick before I, um, before I go. And, excuse me, and you want to overlook me because my hot mess is kind of, oops, that was scrap table. Because my hair looks hot mess and I'm still, as you see, I got my favorite gowns holy, but it's my favorite gown. Because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I was talking to my good friend, Rob Reno, yesterday. Um, you know, because today, today, tonight, I'm going to be on the Renew show as a guest at 9 o'clock. And we had to do a run-through and stuff. And we were talking on uh, Google Hangout. and Which, by the way, Rob, I really enjoyed that conversation. I missed talking to you. Uh, so, we were, well, we were talking about weight loss, you know, and stuff. And I was telling him that me and my best friend were talking about it a couple of days ago. How, you know, usually I tell her every day if I've lost or if I've gained or whatever, you know, because I'm a daily weigher, weigher. And she reminded me, she goes, you know, don't you remember when you first decided you wanted to have this surgery that you wanted to, your goal was just to be under 200 pounds and to be able to live an active life. And she said, aren't you doing that now? And I was like, yeah, I am. I am. I am. Living an active life. Uh, like I was telling Rob, you know, a couple of days ago, I took uh, a, sand, a sandbox apart that was in our backyard that the previous uh, owner, I'm sorry, the previous renter had had in here. You know, and then I filled that wheelbarrow up three times with sand and filled all the holes or gaps underneath the, um, just little gaps, underneath the fence so that Chica couldn't get through because they have a Rottweiler next door. You know, and Chica's a Chihuahua. And, uh, that was hard work. And a year ago, I could have done that. And, and last night, I got in the yard, dug out some dirt to pot my, uh, plants that my, uh, bestie gave me yesterday. Couldn't have done that a year ago. Because, you know, I just couldn't have sit for that long. And I couldn't, the wheelbarrow was probably at least 50 or 60 pounds every time I put the sand in it. But... My goal, what, I say, what I'm trying to say is, I'm pretty happy at the point where I'm at right now. And, like Rob said last night, we will get to our goals when we, when we are meant to get to our goals. You know, I'll get to 150 if I'm meant to. Now, my body may say, this is it. This is as far as I want to go. And if it does, you know what? I can honestly say, I'm cool with that. Because I have come a long way. I have done a lot. I have made big strides. I can do things I couldn't do a year ago. Lots of big things I couldn't do a year ago. When we moved into this house, I could not... I moved almost everything in here except for the big stuff. I could have never done that before. Last time we moved into my parents' house, I basically just sat and I couldn't do anything. So, it's a good life. You know, God is good to me. He's blessed me. Gave me the second opportunity to have this surgery to change my life and to change my attitude and to do what I want to do, you know. And I can't ask for any more than that. And as far as me maintaining this week, I'm cool to maintain because I told Rob, you know, I said, Rob, 
I said, baby, I'm going to keep it real because yesterday I had some chocolate covered raisins and uh, I had some peanut butter, which is that's the only two bad things I had. Well, no, my best friend made some uh, baked zucchini, but she baked it with a uh, in cornmeal, which I got a picture of it. I'm going to put it in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But, uh, so I'm surprised I didn't gain. So I'm happy with my maintain this week. And I hope that you guys are happy with whatever your progress has been this week. Because don't worry about it. If it wasn't a major progress, then, you know, tomorrow is a new day and next week is a new adventure. So just take it one day at a time and do the best that you can. You know, that's all any of us can do. You know, that's absolutely the best that we can do. And I want to thank everyone for always loving me and supporting me. And I want to say thank you to my new subscribers because I've gotten about probably about 100 new subscribers in the last couple months. And I just haven't taken the time to say thank you. I hope that you enjoy my channel and I hope that you continue to watch and, and support me in my journey to be happy, healthy, and loved, you know. So, and to the, my family friends outside the square box, I love you all as well. You know who you are. Thank you for your love and your support and your kindness and encouragement. All of y'all, inside or out of this box, mean the world to me. I love you all. God bless. Mm.